Hey everybody, this is Stormy from Clear Channel Radio V101 and WDIA, and I am sitting here with the amazing Beverly Bond. Hi, Beverly. Hi, Stormy. How are you? I am great. It was so amazing to hear your story uh, today. I had no idea, seriously, of your passion. Uh, really, and who you are and what you're doing. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I've heard your name, and I know Black Girls Rock. Who doesn't, really? Uh, what black girl doesn't know that she <laughs> <Black> rocks? <girls. laughs> <laughs> but I thought it was so amazing because you do what I do. I mean, you did what I do. Do you still DJ? Uh huh. I DJ. Are you serious? Yeah. I thought it was interesting when she was speaking. She was talking about how shy she used to be. Seriously. I I think I still have it, but honestly, um, every it's almost like every time I get over one hurdle mm -hmm. of speaking in public, mm -hmm. then I get. It's like I put some new big ones. So this weekend I had to speak on uh, the Superdome stage, stage at the um, at the Essence Music Festival. Wow! <laughs> I, I, I literally that. well when I went out I was just like you know every time because you know it's a it's a process of getting mm -hmm. through it is. something like yeah. that. And um, when I got to the stage I was just I looked and I smiled and I looked up at the heavens like. You know what? This is hilarious. You just want to like keep challenging me to the next level. So it was just, it was amazing. It was good. I, I, I you know, I was, I was nervous, obviously. But mm -hmm. after that, I think I'm kind of. I have to give up the, the idea that I'm nervous. Yeah. So, yeah. so are you nervous? Because you can't be nervous when you're DJing, right? No, I love it. Because that's your thing. Yeah, it's my thing. Yeah. Yeah. You were talking about how you challenged the industry. Mm -hmm. as it relates to people of women of color. Mm -hmm. When I was listening to you and I was thinking, I was shaking my hand, and I was like, wow, wow. Because I, I did not know your story. I think it needs to be told. So at some point, I want you to interview with us here locally. So uh, I have a talk show that I do called The Pulse. Mm -hmm. and we keep our fingertips on the pulse of our community, mm -hmm. but we on the world too. And I think it is important for us as African Americans, for, for women, to know who we are yeah. and to know that we rock and God what a name and I love the t-shirts mm -hmm. Black Girls Rock and the, the whole concept but it is even better for me now knowing where it comes from. Good. I mean you know I've, like I said I've kind of laid low in the cut <laughs> yeah. you know to a point so maybe some people don't know and then you know of course with us being on BET a lot of people don't know where it came from. Guess what I'm saying you this know. is the lady behind <laughs> Black Girls Rock. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, you know, it's 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 great. And now you've got Nia Long hosting the show, and we've got we had last year we had um, we had Nia and we had um, Tracy Ellis For, Ross, and yeah. well, we actually had um, a lot of people before we got to TV. So this is not are just you yeah. Serious? Tracy and Regina are both uh, returns. Wow! So yeah. we've been rocking a long time. Yeah, we didn't even know it. Yeah. Well, yeah. some of us did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but ser seriously, though, it is. It is wonderful to see that uh, I think it's important for other African American girls who, who may not have the privilege of growing up uh, in an affluent neighborhood or I don't know what your background is, but I think it's important that you see somebody that looks like you, uh, it, whatever mm -hmm. race or color you are. But I love this concept okay. because obviously, well, I'm a black girl and now I know and I rock. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is important. This is definitely important for young girls, and it's important for them to see a balance of images. Mm -hmm. It's important it for them is. to not just see one-sided imagery or just to see uh, women who are glamorized but are also like scantily clad and objectified. It's mm -hmm. like if that's what you see, then that's what you're going to believe, and that's what you're going to. That's going to be your goal. Your goal yeah. is going to work on your pretty and your sexy instead of working on your intrinsic qualities and your greatness and and becoming beautiful inside what's and out. The, yeah, and you bringing know? what's on the inside yes, outside. Yes, because nothing can beat your in, inner beauty. Because I've seen a lot of beautiful people that are actually ugly yeah. because of their personality. Yeah. And, and, and then I've seen the opposite. Yeah. Women who maybe think they're not so beautiful on the outside that are really are amazing. Yeah, I mean, I think And you're both. I think that... Inside and out. I think everybody has the potential to be... You, I think, you know, we're all beautiful physically, but, you know, and, and women, you know, we're all, like, we're women. We're sexy. Yeah. We know that. You know and what I mean? we know that's it. Just, yeah. That's just what women have. So to have women focusing on and having young girls believe that they have to focus on their sexy and focus on their pretty, mm -hmm. um, it's just kind of... Um, it's 
uh, it's a dangerous message, especially to send to young girls to make them think that they don't need to worry about themselves beyond that. Yeah. You know, because then they get to a, re a place of reality, and that's not the thing that's going to take you to the next level. All right. Well, we look forward to having Beverly back at some point. You come back? Yes. She give, she give, she's given us our, her word, ladies. And uh, <laughs> look forward to seeing Black Girls Rock on BET and look forward to hearing Beverly on the Clear Channel radio station near you. I'm Stormy, and uh, thanks for checking us out. Have a good day.